Welcome to beautiful Biscayne Bay and today's live extreme event, Miami Surf and Turf. From the water to the beaches to the heart of the city, we're serving up a racing combo platter of everything that makes Miami great. Brought to you by Live. We make the cameras, you make the action. For this event, we wanted a sizzling, mouth-watering land and sea odyssey that would leave our viewers hungry for more. And since Miami is practically synonymous with speedboats and sports cars, it was the only oven hot enough to handle this racing recipe. So bon appetit, race fans. It's time to get cooking. No surprises at who's just taken the lead. Will the sun ever set on this competitor? Those cruise ships showcase one of the many luxuries Miami has to offer, while those bridge pillars showcase one of the many hazards our designers built into the course. Let's get out of the water and get ready for a high-speed blow-dry. Whoops, looks like we may have left a few things on the beach. Hope our drivers don't let those slow them down. We've had our surf, we've had our turf, so now it's time for dessert, speed. Forget squirrels or raccoons, here in Miami, the local wildlife includes alligators who make their homes in those waterways. Dog owners, if you move to Miami, be sure to keep your pets on a short leash. Are the Venetian Islands, a group of artificial islands constructed in the bay and connected by a bridge originally built in part by racing pioneer Carl G. Fisher. If only he could see what we're doing now. Racers are on the final stretch to the finish line in downtown Miami. And with those hypercars capable of speeds up to 450 kilometers per hour, that's 280 miles per hour, folks, they'll be there before you know it. What a finish! 
finish to the Live Extreme Series Miami Surf and Turf. Be sure to follow us on social media. Until our next exciting, unprecedented Live Extreme event, have a cold one, slip on your shades, and enjoy your time in beautiful Miami. I know I will.